We are in the AI revolution, where everyone is trying to learn how to master AI, build AI agents, and attain financial freedom. With everyone and their mother trying to become the next AI whiz kid, the question is what makes you different from the next person building AI agents? How can you be better than 99% of other AI developers? This video, I'm going to share with you 6.5 blueprints to get ahead of 99% of AI developers, but first, why on earth should you even listen to me? I have been building automations for over five years now, been featured on Business Insider, Times Square, graduated with a bachelor's in computer science with AI specialization, and have given key notes about growing AI businesses. No one else on YouTube in the AI space has these credentials. So you can trust me when I say, I definitely know a thing or two about being ahead of the pack. So the first thing you have to do is steal the 10,000. Now I'm sure you have heard of the phrase that you must spend 10,000 hours doing something to fully master it. Famous athletes like LeBron James, who's the greatest basketball player of all time, is able to play at the level he has been because he has probably put in over 10,000 hours in dribbling, shooting, passing, and finishing with the ball. Top lead software engineers at big tech companies have spent 10,000 hours coding and building apps to be able to become top executives at these companies. Now, does this mean you have to put in 10,000 hours into building with AI to make your first dollar from it? No. We both are too lazy for that. So this is where we will steal the 10,000 through two methods. The first is using ChatGPT to find whatever information we need instantly. See, when this 10,000 hour principle came about, ChatGPT didn't exist. It would take weeks to learn a new concept or skill. But now with the help of AI and instant answering, we can learn new skills within days. And later on in this video, we will cover how to make ChatGPT know everything about you. But the second method to stealing the 10,000 hours is leveraging the minds of those who have put more hours than us already. See on YouTube, Reddit, LinkedIn, we have access to AI coders, engineers, and more people who have 10 to 15 years of experience building AI apps that we can learn from. So all you have to do is reach out to these people via LinkedIn, ask for 15 minute coffee chats, and within those 15 minutes, you'll be able to learn more than if you spend two hours learning by yourself. This is a 6x faster learning rate. Next step is to master ChatGPT in a way others do not. When you have a question and you want to ask ChatGPT, you most likely go to ChatGPT and ask the question directly in the new chat. Wrong. This is what the 99% of people do. We are going to be in the top 1%. So while it is great to use ChatGPT as a direct answer tool, you should not use a new chat every time. A new chat is like talking to a brand new person for the first time. They know nothing about you, can't give you answers based on questions you have asked prior. Everything is from point zero. However, if you keep a long running chat with GPT and ask a new question in the same chat, it will start to understand more about you. You can think of this as talking to your best friend. Why does your best friend know so much about you? It's because over the years, you have told them so many things about yourself and they update their memory and understanding of you each time they talk to you. This is why your best friend knows you so well. And ChatGPT is the same way. I have different long running chats for different parts of my businesses, as well as my personal life. Using the folders tool is a great way to keep all these chats organized. Now, do you know the number one mistake AI developers make on their journey? They decide to start building too late. The 99% spend days, weeks, months, even years behind a laptop watching YouTube videos, reading articles, asking ChatGPT questions, but there is no better teacher than experience. Successful CEOs like Sundar Pichai, Elon Musk, Tim Cook, and more love stressing this idea. Experience is the best teacher. If you're not building something using your learning, you are not truly retaining this new learning. See, 10,000 hours isn't just about learning, it's also about building. Let's take Blake Anderson, for example. He built an AI app called RizGPT. He was no coding expert, but he took some months to build this and then he launched it. This app helped teenagers riz people on dating apps by recommending what to say to them. Do you know how much this app made? Over a million dollars. Prove how easy it is to build and launch an app within a day. I even made a YouTube video where I built an app from scratch using a no code AI builder called Lovable AI where I launched it and got paying customers within 10 hours. Is this not crazy? Like this is what the 1% is doing, right? To be a part of the 1%, you must be an action taker. Do not wait for that perfect timing because while you wait, someone else will do it. There's a saying in Hindi, Ab nahi to kab, which translates to, if not now, then when? So do it now. Start building an AI agent or app as you watch educational YouTube videos. We have now reached the point where if you follow these previous three steps, you will already have a head start and be in that top 1% at least in the beginning. But now that you have this head start, how can you stay ahead 
and be a part of the top 0.1%. How can you turn AI coding into a $10,000 a month online business? This is where step four comes into play. Honey trap marketing. Anyone who has ever ran a business of any sort knows to get clients, you got to go reach out to people. You have to send emails, Instagram DMs, and more. But what if that's a lie? Enter honey trap marketing. This form of marketing has generated me over $300,000 online. Let's take Reddit for example. For any app I have made, I go to subreddits that relate to my product. For example, if I have made a SaaS or agent for campers, I go to the camping subreddit that has 4.2 million members. Over here, I make a post talking about how my app solves whatever pain point for campers that it solves. This is where the magic happens. Reddit posts can get tens or hundreds of thousands of views overnight. I have had several Reddit posts go mega viral. And when this happens, a bunch of people I start DMing you on Reddit, asking you about your app, agent, or service. And now these people that are DMing you can eventually become paying clients. Your post was a honey and these DMs are the bees flying towards you. All you got to do is the final part, which is close them on a sales call. You can also do honey trap marketing on LinkedIn and X. The other forms of marketing, which is super boring, is sending emails and DMs. I personally utilize Instagram DMs and I used to spend five hours a day sending DMs. But then I made my own AI agent that can send DMs for me. It's ranked number one on Google and the link is in the description if you want to go check it out. Now, do you see what I did there? I automated the boring stuff. Sending DMs is boring. So I automated it and turned it into a solution that has helped a bunch of people. This is what the 99% is not doing. They're not doing what you are learning all this for in the first place. You are learning automation skills to automate processes, operations, the lives of people. If you can't automate your own life, how can you possibly automate others? By automating your life, you are learning new skills, building solutions and putting yourself ahead of 99% of other AI developers. And I don't want you to be alone in all of this. And this is where we reach step five, find a community for you. Learning these AI tools, navigating this whole AI revolution we are in is not easy. You can lose motivation. You can lose your fire that got you started. So having people hold you accountable is an absolute must. I have a free school community with nearly a thousand members who are learning about AI, sharing information, are driven entrepreneurs and helping each other in this wild space that we are in. Mr. B says that working in a group of five like-minded people helps you avoid mistakes at a five X rate. One person makes a mistake, the other four can learn from it. So you're avoiding mistakes at a five X rate. Now imagine there are a thousand people, that's a thousand X rate. So build together, network with others because you never know who might be your next co-founder, business partner, or friend. Now you're at the most important step for anyone trying to make money in the AI space, the under over method. If you can master this, no matter where you are in your AI journey, you'll be able to earn income from a bunch of clients. The under over method broken down is underselling to over deliver. For example, one of my mentees, Gleb, who recently sold his N8N AI automation for $5,000 was given an offer of $7,000 originally. He turned it down, undersold his automation and over delivered to the point where the company was able to replace three of their workers and they brought Gleb to work on even bigger project after. So because he took that $2,000 pay cut and he over delivered, he has now secured a new AI automation project with the same client. But this time, instead of a $5,000 payout, it's over a $50,000 expected payout. Absolutely nuts. The under over method is the best way to make your clients absolutely love you to the point where they will hire you for multiple projects or refer other clients to you and keep you paid. Companies will pay to keep top talents for themselves. That's why Google, Apple, Meta engineers are paid so much. Now that you have the blueprint to be in the top 1%, check out this four hour free course to build your AI skills and launch your AI business today.